Welcome back to the final part of our Norwegian cruise logs where we are on board p and Cruises Iona sailing around Norway. So far we've been to Stavanger, Olden and Hellesilt and in today's video we are spending time in Haugesund and showing you around more of Iona with another sea day on board. There is so much to do on the ship with 33 restaurants and dining options, world-class entertainment, a beautiful spa and salon, incredible shopping and so much more you will never be bored. If you missed the previous videos in my Norway cruise series then make sure you go back and watch those and if you'd like to know what life is like on board Avia, the big sister to Iona, then you can watch my previous cruise series to the Caribbean on my channel after this video. I will leave all the information about p Cruises in the description to see where they could take you on your next holiday and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more travel inspiration and daily life and pop over to social media to find me there too. But for now, let's go cruising. Welcome back to part three of our Norwegian Fjords cruise vlogs. I'm so excited for the next couple of days to spend them with you guys. If you haven't seen part one and two, um, go over and check those out before you watch this one so you can see our sea day, our time in Stavanger, in Olden. I went on a helicopter. Oh, we, we just had the most amazing time already, but there's still more to go. So we are just getting ready to go for some breakfast and then we'll get into the video. If you are new to my channel, I'm Lara. I'd love to have you here as a subscriber. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, lots of travel and lots of budget for any things to do as well. Just watching a rib boat go by. Uh, yeah, I'd love to have you here in this community and don't forget to check out and check out the other vlogs as well if you haven't seen them. And of course, all of your vlogs as well from the Caribbean as well. this kind of a print just like so calming and peaceful so soothing <laughs> and how beautiful are these ones as well we were just saying they're just like the girls maybe someone's already bought them perhaps maybe they're not for sale and my boys playing in the sand does that make you think of your boys this yeah and this reminds me of um formby beach in liverpool oh, i know it you very know it well, well of course this, I just absolutely adore this part of the ship, this little gallery. I always find it so soothing and lovely. It's lovely. Always have nice music as well. Yeah, I love walking through. I thought I'd just show you the Limelight Club where we are going this evening. Whilst we're here, I've just been to the salon to book an appointment to get my hair done later as a treat. I think they may well be uh, rehearsing, yeah. This is where we're going tonight. I'm so looking forward to it because it's just such a lovely evening. So we have our dinner in there and a show. Dinner and a show. So we have a little timetable here of the things that are on for the children. And I'm thinking today at 3 p.m. there's an exciting science workshop. So I think perhaps taking the children to that. It's also Wallace and Gromit walking around the ship, which will be fun. So yeah, that comes through every day. This is today's paper and then we also have this one with all the grown-up things and other things to, to do. But yeah, it's really helpful to have that for the children. So we've been to the Horizon for a Buffy breakfast this morning. So Horizon is split into two parts and one of them finishes at 10 a.m. and one finishes at 11 a.m. So just so you know that if you are coming, it's all included in the cost of your cruise and it's all anything from like, like full, full English stuff to pancakes, waffles. They have something each day that changes on the station and omelettes and things like that. So that was really nice, we've had that. And then the dads have just taken the children swimming. Louise and I have just gone for a little mooch around, just have a little look around where we're going later, which is the Limelight Club, which I cannot wait for. It's my favorite night of the week. We are actually seeing Matt Cardle tonight, which should be really, really good. I think it's 35 pounds per person, and that includes your meal and your show. So I think it's really good value, obviously to see a performer like that. Last time I came on, I saw Lavoie, who was incredible. That was an Avia, and I was really hoping that they were gonna be on this uh, cruise, but unfortunately not to be this time, so I'll have to have another one to go and see uh, Lavoie again. Just brilliant. Uh, but yes, I've just got the cinema snacks. These I've just found in the shop. 
salted caramel mini Twix. Never seen those before. And also these as well, which are Haribo Choppy Fruity, Choppy Fruity, which are like those, the bear type ones, which I really love that style of like that. I can't describe it, but I really like them. So yeah, we are gonna go to the cinema and I think the children just want to have some time just to explore the ship because there's so much to do on board because you're constantly doing other things outside of the ship. They just really want to have some time on the ship. So I think the dads are gonna go into Horgesund and have a little look around there. Louise and I are gonna take the children to the cinema and then there's a science show at three and then we will see what else there is to do this afternoon. But there's just so much on that, yeah, it's really hard to fit everything in basically. You have to do another cruise. I think if you're doing two weeks, that's a really good amount where you're not feeling like you're missing out on the ship stuff and the excursions and the, all the shore experiences. So yeah, I do think maybe we might do a two week one if we were able to come next year. I really want to do the Med next year, all the Caribbean, but I think, yeah, might look at doing a two week cruise next year. But anyway, so let's get on with the day. So I've gone for a bit of a roast dinner here with some celery and apple slaw. And he's gone for more of a continental option. What have you got over there? That's two cheese rolls. <laughs> no, I'm going to have three for pasta. <laughs> <laughs> this is our view from our lunch spot. So Stu is actually going to head out with Liam. They're going to go and see Hawk Sunt, as I said. And we're going to go to the cinema and then the science show. And then I'm not sure what we're doing afterwards, but I've got myself a hair appointment at half past five because we've got the line map cut later. So we get this sorted out and have a nice blowout. Blowout. So Morgan, go join. Here's Liam and myself. We are in Horgesand. We have managed to um, leave the ladies and the children behind. They're exploring the ship and making the most of that. And we're going to go and find out a little bit more about Horgesand, what it has to offer, see some of the sights, see some of the culture, and immerse ourselves in it. Come along for the journey. It's a Norwegian frown line, beautiful. Welcome to Horgesand. This is a dad's excursion to find the culture that is to be found in Horgesund. We've just got off the ship. We're a few hundred metres into Horgesund and we're just having a let's look at this gorgeous view. Oh, that'd be ready. The boys would love this, wouldn't they? They absolutely would as well. Axes and shields, helmets. And we're not too far from the ship. We're actually down by the water, as you can see. It's a really, really, it's actually quite a picturesque sort of place. I don't know if you can see that, but to, there's a few bars and a few coffee shops and stuff here. So we think it'd be a great place if you come off the ship, just pitch up here, watch the world go by and have a, have a little chill with a drink. Yeah, this is, down on the water. Pretty nice little little area to be. Just managed to find some Norwegian culture. For that night. Lovely view. Skull. And here, we have the lesser spotted Liam <laughs> in his natural habitat, wandering around with a person with a camera. <laughs> That's the end of our little uh, journey to Forbeson, the dad's excursion. We managed to have a beer down by the river, which is probably the nicest place to go. It's only about 3,000 steps in, so not too far from the ship. You can sit there, have a drink, watch the world go by. Um, we are just heading to the cinema now. We're going to see Ferdinand at Ocean Studios. If you're looking for cinema on the lifts, you won't find it because it's called Ocean Studios. It's telling me I should go. Oh, look at that! 
So we've just finished at our science show and now there's arts and crafts. I've put myself, put myself a little cheeky hair appointment, as I said, needed, very much needed. So the dads are now back from their little adventure and we're going to get a quick fish and chips from the Keys. Fish and chips or chicken chips? Actually, I think it, I saw burgers as well. Oh, okay, American Grill there. Asian kitchen there, that one. There is fish and chips. There is fish and chips. Hook, line and sinker. Oh. I missed the pun. Hook, line and vinegar. Fish and chips. Got my little vinegar and my mayo. My ketchup. Just want to get a little table. So we've got a little bit of salad -y bits and bobs here. Lovely, lovely. Oh, and the cakes and the cakes and the puddings. What's going on here? Here we go. A little bit of keel. I'm keep calling it keels because of keel and cow. Keys dining, fish and chips, and a little view out there. Now yeah, I'm in the hairdresser. This is such a treat to get this done. But I'm gonna get um, like Hollywood waves done, I think, so I've never had that. Um, and I can't really do my own hair, so this is a real treat for a little date, double date tonight. And I'm um, just getting the most amazing head massage. I feel like I could fall asleep, it was so good. And look, look out there, we get, oh, can you see? Can you see? We are dry, we are sending away. I am all done. I really like what he's done with my hair. I'm wearing this dress, which is from Vinted, and my little River Island bag. Um, I really like this dress, although it's quite big. It's got a lot of material. I just thought I'd show you, we are just leaving Hogerson now, and we are on to our final sea day, which is really sad. I literally want to do this, like, all over again. I keep coming out here to vlog, and I realize people above us so that's a little bit embarrassing uh, but yeah so we are just now going to go let me get in the light for dinner at the limelight club and a show with matt cardle i've been looking forward to this all week i love this night it's such a good place for a special evening it's 35 pounds per head for dinner and a show which i think is really good value and we may well go to anderson's afterwards or something like that but yeah i'm really looking forward to it I just wanted to quickly show you the app because it's so easy to use if you want to book your kids club, your shore experiences, your dining, whatever you need, it's all in the app. So as you can see, you just press on youth and then you can choose the sessions. These are available from every morning for the next day. And then if you wanted to book any shore experiences, it's all there listed for you. It gives you a bit of an information around what they are. And you can also book your dining here. So this is really great because you can choose whatever takes your fancy some restaurants will be booked before your trip so do get ahead go ahead and book those ahead of your trip but if you just want to change plans or anything like that it's all here in the app it's super easy to access you can get it without wi-fi when you're on the ship so it's within the pino cruises website but there's an app within it and you don't need wi-fi to use it or signal so it's really really good and yeah you can just book everything you need and you can also look at all your bookings as well super easy to use and really helpful so we've been given these cards Oh, the artist situation and they've come up with where's the best place you've ever performed and why and so it's very very exciting they're going to run you've got a lot to look for uh, food of roasted aubergine and peppers and tomato it looks like it's got quite a in it so i will be passing on that one but guys does she like it she likes it a lot liam did you enjoy that Delicious. Really? Oh wow. It does look so good. I'm really sad I can't eat that, but I don't want to set my tummy off this early in the night. Hello, my hair's all shushy. Um, it's so soft. Does yours feel soft after yours? Yes. Louise had the same but this morning. And mine just feels like it feels like if you got a kitten and grew its hair to this length and put it on a human head. That's what it feels like. <laughs> Starters have just arrived. I went for the ham hock terrine. I'm not actually sure what it is. I didn't see that. Some sort of avocado thing. Liam's got the salmon, which looks really nice. And they've actually kindly made Louise up something. She wasn't a fan of Starters. <laughs> We've got the same, Baba. We have my love. Hi, uh, welcome, Matt. Look at all these lovely people out here. Hello. 
They've got loads of questions for you. So and it is as uncool as it sounds. Um, and I did go there until I was 18. That was terrible. I did it as well. Uh, yeah, right. This question's uh, one or the other. <laughs> this person's asked, Simon or Louie? <laughs> what do you think? I, <laughs> but he's, he's fun. He is fun. Yeah. And, uh, and so this is the veggie option. Oh, squash. Oh, that looks like a little spring roll sort of thing. I've gone for the trout, which looks delicious. What have you got, darling? Oh, is that half now? I mean, it's... No, that's beef, darling. Oh, you've got, oh, you've got something different. And Liam got the rack of lamb. Rack of lamb. When you saw it was on the menu, you were so pleased, weren't you? So happy. <laughs> and it looks absolutely... Look at that. The presentation's beautiful. We all got the same. Oh, no, Louise, what did you strudel. go for? It's a strudel. Oh, it's I'm just like a little bird's nest. A little bird's nest. Fir tree syrup. Fir tree strudel. <laughs> strudel pillow. Oh, I've got like a little. Um, you call those sweets back in the 90s? Remember, they were like two different colours with a hard uh, shell. Vice versa. That's it. Limelight, please join me in giving a warm welcome to your wonderful guest entertainer this evening. It is Matt Cuddle. Thank you so, so much, ladies and gents. How are we feeling? We good? Yes. Brilliant. Kids club, but I thought I'd show you what's on in the sky dome. a raspy throat last night and I was singing away quite a lot to Matt Cardle. He was brilliant. He was so friendly, so sweet and it was a really lovely show. I did leave just before the end because I had promised George that we would get him for um, earlier from Kids Club. So we did that and then we had a little midnight snacky snack. So nice to be able to get any food you want at that time of night. And because the children eat with us sort of quite early, although they didn't last night, they had actually an earlier dinner because we ate at the Lime Night Club, which was really good. And as I said, it's 35 pounds per person for that dinner and a show, I think it's great value for money. But because we did that, they had a bit of an early dinner. So they had a little snack at the bar, uh, at the uh, Horizons restaurant. And yeah, now we are on our last day. We're on our sea day. It's so sad that it's over. I honestly wish we could just do the whole thing again now because I've loved it so much. But there's still loads to do today. So I will, I'm will. i just going, go, going to go up now. I'm going to meet the guys. We're having breakfast at the Pearl restaurant this morning, which we haven't actually done, I don't think, a sit-down served meal yet for breakfast. So I'll show you what that's like. Often with the buffet, you can just come and go as you please it finishes at 10 a.m at the keys at uh, 10 a.m at one half of horizons but don't worry if you miss that there's another half of horizons which is open till 11 but for now we're gonna go to the pearl get some food and i've got a really fun experience coming up so the guy having a nice meal oh this looks nice pancake what have you got there? Well, I traditionally have a breakfast of beige. It's a running mm. theme. But today, it's quite a bougie beige. And because we're in the pearl, I've decided to go all out. And I've ordered one sausage. Wow. We have about half. A whole sausage. I don't really eat a sausage in the morning, gal. That was a lengthy explanation. <laughs> and I have gone for this, which I have been looking forward to because I do love avocado oh, on toast. That was so yummy. Such a nice 
atmosphere and menu and obviously it will include it in the cost of a cruise as well. I have just left the boys, they're going to go up and I think they're going to go to the gym, they want to check out the gym which is meant to be huge, so I'll try and get some shots of that to show you. I'm going to go for a massage now, I'm just walking through the atrium. I just wanted to show you in here, this is headliners. You can't believe that this is in a cruise ship on board Iona. This is the show that's on tonight. I've seen it, it's really good, really vibrant. Loads of songs you recognize, so fun. And then this is what it's like inside, it's me! <laughs> it's absolutely massive. was incredible it was, it was so good she was doing like reflexology on my feet it was so so nice really recommend it if you can go for a treat um, but anyway yeah so we're going up to the shops now it's a little bit busier on board today because obviously we are sea day the last day I can't believe I'm so glad to it's over I'm gonna do it all over again immediately oh, but hopefully if you are wanting to know what it's like this is going to get you prepared you know what to do what the experience is which ones you like we would recommend so we just picked up the children we're going to go to the lego shop, lego shop. so on a sea day the toy shop the toy shop here we go here's the children's shop what goes all the way through why do i want this hard gun though <laughs> it's so cute I've got super puppet. No. That's a super puppet. Super puppet. So I just wanted to give you a quick bit of a tip here because we are packing up, so embarkation, disembarkation day is tomorrow, but the cabin stewards come and collect your bags today. So what you will need to do is pack up all of your clothes, anything you want to just take home, you don't need access to in a suitcase. But my top tip would be to pack a spare bag or just have one of your bags, which you could use for all of your things that you need for tonight and for tomorrow, so a going home outfit. So we've just got one of our spare suitcases and we put the dirty washing in one of the others. It just means that we can have our outfits, uh, somewhere to pack it in the morning that the outfits we're gonna wear tonight and obviously to store any of our cosmetics or wash stuff. So that's just a little tip for you. We're just packing up now and then we feel like it's done for the day. So we have all of our bags all packed away. We have our outfits for tomorrow sorted out and they've just kindly given me some extra luggage tags to pop onto our bags. This is the information that we're given, which includes everything that we need to do. And that was given to us yesterday, so we know exactly what we're doing. And we're gonna put our luggage tags on and then leave them outside the room and then they magically appear when we need them downstairs once we're off the ship. So this is where we leave our bags. That's all they're ready for them to take. Just to take them downstairs for us and they appear downstairs when we need them. We, I think, yeah, because we haven't been up there before, so we are going to the Epicurean now, which is a an additional fee, but we are having a, uh, what's it called, afternoon tea, which I didn't do last time on RV, and I've been really looking forward to it. So we're all in our finery. I've gone for this sort of, I'll show you in a minute, Chanel inspired number from River Island. Uh, but it's at the front of the ship, so we're just going there now. Stu's just catching us up. Bye. To the right, to the right. This way. We've picked up these beautiful queens for our afternoon tea. The dad's just in the crow's nest. We've got this beautiful boy and this beautiful boy. And here we are on the Haven't eaten here yet on this trip, so I'm really looking forward to this. It's art made from glass. Isn't it clever? Oh, it's like a wave. <laughs> It's so cool, made of glass. Look at this. What do you think? I think maybe it's something to do 
I'm not sure actually, Darcy. Maybe it's to put on top of something. There's some trading going on down there. What have we got? What's the top choice that you'd like between you? Chocolate tart. George, which one are you bartering for? Oh, you want the green one? I don't know what the green one is. So this is our menu here. Oh, it must be pistachio and forest berry petit choux pastry, I would imagine. Petit choux. It's for you to enjoy your afternoon. Okay, let's wow. do it. Wow. Wow. Tantalize your taste buds. Cheese, uh, chili, and roasted pancetta cream. Ooh, when it builds, does it? It does. When you first sit by, it's not loads in there, just it's like the chili just kicks in. It's really good. It's just it's saying how good this one is. <laughs> that was so, pancetta and cream. Look, that is. Is this A? Yeah, it's cream. Is it B? Mango and sweet saffron creme patisserie Vivienne. Okay. But it says it's got cardamom biscuit, mango, mint salsa, and black currant coo. No, it can't be that. There's no. It's a black currant coo, is it? Oh, oh, this is the black currant coo. Yeah. Hey. Mm. A little bit of this. You just here. listen to the. Uh, I I heard her and then I was thinking, which one is that though? Because I can't see cardamom biscuit. Chocolate tart is very Oh, so it's in here. Right, okay, got it. Right, okay, so we have this little guy. This has got... Oh, this comes with this. Yes, baby. Thank you, darling. Put it together. I'm going to try this. Mmm! Ooh! Those little poppy things in the side. Refreshing. It's a bit like bubble tea. Mm. Bubble tea pudding. Mm. Have you had a bubble May tea? I have my next no, I've never had a bubble tea, but I'm like missing that. Exactly. Eight out of ten. I actually don't eight think I've had a bubble tea either. But I can. Ten. Eight out of ten, you think? They are judging their desserts down there. Mm. Mm. Really good. I really like that. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Only the old. Okay. So you can go home and enjoy it. Never forget. Oh, oh wow! Stuart's just, just right. said that the Pino Cruises, so the Greatest Days show, which Sorry, is I've adapted got it wrong. for. It's not called Never Forget. It's called the Greatest Days. Yeah, I, got I, got I got the wrong take. That's good, didn't I? <laughs> Liam did a joke day, yesterday right? when the lady yeah. at the yeah, no, um, yeah, theatre said to him, "Well, oh, make sure you come watch the show. the show, which is what? Greatest Days about Take That. It was about their music. And what was your wonderful dad joke? Oh." I said to the girl, we'd never forget to go. <laughs> Which she didn't get. <laughs> she didn't get it. <laughs> but I'm sure well, you guys enjoyed that. She may have got it and just she, so bad. Mm. She's probably that thinking that's like the 10th time I've heard that today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I personally rate but it's it. actually <laughs> out on Netflix, the <laughs> film. So, yeah, if you haven't seen it, it's actually the full length uh, film, whereas it's adapted for Pino Cruises exclusively for the uh, Headliner Theatre show. These guys are having the ultimate debate over here. So we have got one doing jam cream. The right way. The right way, the Devonshire way. And one doing cream jam. Oh, hold on, or is it four more? Now I've got it wrong. Comment below because I always get this wrong. We have one of each, but the question is which is going to be the best to eat? Because I think that's going to go all over your little nose when you eat. Whereas the jam, I live with a little that. bit more controlled, I'd say. If that's all that happens to me, then it's worked out well. We don't need to worry about that because they're just going in in one. Inhaled, <laughs> inhaled. <laughs> <laughs> this was a suggestion. Yeah. The whole thing is going in. <laughs> is the 10 year old Impressed with this? Oh, good effort. Good effort. <laughs> oh, very good. Woo! So we have just left our afternoon tea at Epicurean. Thoughts, guys? Uh, the scones. The scones really are really nice good. Scones. Jam and cream, cream scones and jam. Or scones. scones or scones? There's too many things to I, talk I, about I, here. I love the scones. You love the scones, Henry loves the scones. They did some nice vegetarian bits for me. They which did, I they did, yes. And oh, they're setting up for the show time. Oh, it's going to be a good one. They've got that setting up. This is out in the Sky Dome here. So yes, that was delicious. There is a surcharge to that. Uh, but a really nice, different experience. Great to see there as well. Yeah, that can be a bit of a... Yeah. It's really sunny.
Oh, I can't tell you the amount of times I've been stood on my balcony, looked up. I'm vlogging, vlogging full oh, on. Oh, yeah. Look up. Wah, 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 wah. Right there, <laughs> watching the whole show. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> oh, hello. This is a lovely end yeah. to a wonderful Cheers. trip. Cheers to you. Cheers to you, my darling. Cheers, my love. Oh, hasn't it been so good? To you, my love. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I just had to get this shot. This is our last little journey on the sea. And look, we've got this amazing wind farm. Can you see that? Wow, it goes on forever. <laughs> we are just taking the children to kids club. They have really been looking forward to going. They didn't want to go earlier because we were doing something else and they only were going to get a little amount of time. So it actually was three clubs today on C day. So there's lots of different options, but in the end they decided not to go because they weren't going to have enough time there. So we spent the day together. We had our lovely afternoon here at Epicurean, which was really nice together. And we went to Liam, Liam and Louise's room and the children were in, they were playing hotels and then the mums and dads were on the balcony and it was so nice just having a bit of time together just reminiscing over the trip and just chatting about <laughs> random stuff like birth stories pregnancy announcements uh life what we want to do next which careers we want to do next we've all said italy as well would be amazing uh but yeah it's been lovely so that's really nice and now she's just taking the children up to the buffet with liam we're gonna get ready and then we are going to the sunset bar and then to the beach house again which i'm really looking forward to because it is honestly just i loved it there it was so good um but yeah so i'm gonna get changed now and then we'll head for some drinks and dinner <laughs> you want to be in it <laughs> I just thought I'd show you this because I haven't shown you the ice cream parlor yet. Look at this, this is called Ripples and it's an additional fee but it is so nice to grab an ice cream and sit out on the deck as the sun is in the sky. You've got the deck out there, you've got a fluffy sleeve <laughs> and look at all of these things that you can have in it. So we are just having our final little date night. So nice to, I just said to Stuart, I never wear heels anymore, I never go out like this anymore, but we are out, out, but we're just going to, the children have just had a buffet at Horizons. And then we are just gonna have a little shop, little shop shop of what, uh, I'll show you a little bit more of what's here, meet with Liam and Louise, and then we're going to the sunset bar and have a little sundowner with the final night horizon on the, Horizon on the horizon, and then we're going to the beach house again, which is one of my favorite restaurants. Uh, but I think what we're gonna pick up, oh, how ironic, they've got the Cotswolds gin here too. So on board Iona, they have their own distillery, I think I said that earlier, in another vlog, and it is the Mirabelle gin, which is so nice, isn't it? We've had it yeah, a couple of times. And on board Arvia, they have their own rum, so they're just distilling it themselves. Um, but yeah, we want to take a bottle home with us to have a little tipple when we want to remember our beautiful holiday. Here it is, Mirabel. Mirabel? That actually might be Mirabel. I don't think it is Mirabel. I've been saying Mirabel all week. No one's corrected. Us. No one has corrected us. So we've got here the cleanup section of the design bags which they had on our beer as well. I didn't realize they had on Iona. These are pre-loved designer bags. Why I sell? much are you? Six or five, oh, 5.19 pounds. So many nice things in here. I really love this one, but I think it might get a little bit dirty because it's white, but it's so pretty. And these are all in the sale, this one. 13 49 it was 28 pounds. Some jewelry. Hello, Our last night and we are greeted with not only this stunning shot of the wake, but sunset. Look at it. Look at the boys as well. What a beautiful oh, sunset. How is it, my love? It's so lovely. Toasty? Toasty? I refuse to not see this view just because I'm a bit chilly. It's so oh, How many towels you got on? Just the three. Just the three. Just the three. Yeah. It's working. <laughs> oh, we are in the the beach house and I've gone for the crab tostadas without red onion. Liam has remained with the red onion. What's that? 
cheeky little Pokeball. Oh, a cheeky little Pokeball. We are at the beach house again. It was probably one of our favourite nights, wasn't it? It was just so lovely. The children are in the kids' club at the moment, but we're going to pick them up because we're going to festival show at Headliners. Okay, all right. I went for the same thing again, but I went for the salt block this time because the boys had it last time and it looked, well, it was delicious. So I tried it. The prawns, I've got some fries. Liam's one with the sizzler, the fajita sizzler, which looks really nice. This nacho. looks so good. I have beige. nacho. Nacho. Beige. No, you've got the chicken on there too. We are just heading into headliners now. Georgie. For festival show, which is really good. It's not. Uh, I love the show. It's really fun. It's really good music. <laughs> So you can book tickets for, well I say tickets, it's a free event, which is great. Yeah, oh. I reserve a spot. Oh, yeah, reserve, oh, what's going on in my camera? I the toilet, I, I just want, there, just there. It's want... got the automatic sink, don't put your bag in the sink, I, this is getting, like I did. Critical, critical. There's a top tip. Put your hand here. Oh yes, blowing cold air out. Good actually, good that's really good. I like the music, I with the wellies. I love the wellies bit with the tap dancing yeah. and the DJ set I really liked as well. I thought that was really good. I thought, oh, well, the irony is we're meant to be at a festival tomorrow, which we're not going to go to. It wouldn't have been as good as that. It wouldn't have been as good as that. And there's plenty of lovely toilets here. Yes. Not at the festival we were going to go to. That was really good. Anyway, we'll see you in the morning. Yeah, that's fine. That's the one for our final breakfast. And we've not had breakfast here before. I feel like we've been missing out. So the boys have got this American pancake. Situation. Some sweet bacon. Fruit compote. You can choose the options that you'd like. And also a fruit pot. And croissant, which I think we might take with us. And then there's new yogurt. This is all included in the cost of your birthday. Food here with coffee. The mum and dad choose the six feet nectar right there. We're about to giggle. Oh, we actually yeah. It's home time. We are just about to disembark. We had a lovely fill up at the Keys. That was really good. The children were saying their goodbyes, swapping numbers, chatting about their favourite bits. It's been absolutely amazing. And I just, I actually just had the best time it's been so so good so i really hope these videos have helped you if you are also going on a piano cruise anytime soon do let me know in the comments anything you want to know that's additional i haven't shared here go over and check the other videos out and my rvr videos too which was the caribbean cruise piano cruises don't forget to check me out on instagram and tiktok and all the usual places there for lara joanna jarvis for lots of day-to-day -day content and lots of money saving content too i'd really love to see you over there as well and thank you so much for being here it makes a massive difference i really appreciate all of you watching this and I will see you for my next video. Take care. Bye.